Hello guys, welcome to this video. This video is actually a project video named Gustav Max. Gustav Max, I mean. I'm going to introduce ourselves first. Okay, so we are a team out of four people, divided into two sub teams. The first sub team is called Team Gustav. The Team Gustav is consisted of me and Red One, and the other team, the Team Max, is consisted of Rama and. Fahri. Okay, uh, w without any more hesitation, let's just jump in into the code. So here are the layout of working. My layout of working, yeah, sort of. And this is the final project. I mean this one. This one is the prototype. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show uh, the game. We actually have two games at once. But yeah, this is the main game. This is the prototype before. Okay, before we are going to do the main game, I'm going to show on the prototype first. Okay, so let me explain about the game first. Our game is about a uh, tank duel. Yeah, you know the cowboy duels and some kind of that. And this time we are going to set it into the World War Three. I don't know, but it it is tanks, tanks duel. So the the tank basically have uh, some kind of weaponry and they have to arm it. Um, step by step, procedurally, and that's what are we going to uh, try into this game. This prototype is called Iodine Spirit Lake because there's a game in Indonesia that has uh, the same kind of play gameplay. The Iodine thing is actually people have to um, press arrow keys and then they get scored. And so in our game, they press some keys and they get scored if they do it right. Okay, so basically, the people are given four numbers and they have to press the buttons right in the keypad, in the chip 8 keypad, the Cosmic Fape keypad to be precise. Okay, for example, there are 3, 9, 1, and 7. So I'm going to press it accordingly to the keypad. 3, uh, 9, 1, and 7. And we, here we got the 700 score. Okay, the scoring here is based on how many numbers they actually answered. One number uh, one number worth for 100 score and if they finally manage to get all of all four of them they will get a bonus 300 so the total is 700 and okay for example if we only got three numbers right this okay uh, 9, 5, 8 and the last 8 we're gonna do it wrong like I press number zero here. See, it's only in increasing 300. So the total is 1,000. And the number on the uh, right bottom edge over here is the round. How many rounds it is? Okay, so I set this game in into only half 10 rounds. So after it goes 10 rounds, it finishes. And this is on the score I already told you. And let me just finish the game first. Okay, seven, five, twenty-three. Okay, <laughs> it's easy. Uh, two, one, two, three. Oh my God, I'm so professional in it. Five, five, two, seven. Okay, uh, eight, four, five. Ah, no, damn it. <laughs> okay, uh, seven, oh, five, six. Oh no. Two, two, three, seven. Nice. Okay, a uh, perfect combo. Okay, uh, four, zero. Oh my, no four. Or four. Ah, here it is. Uh, six, three, six, eight. And this is the last round. So this is the score I got. It's five thousand and four hundred. And this game is not really um, competing because it's only a single player game, and it's uh, there is no limits. Uh, there is no constraints. So we are thinking that maybe we should have life. Maybe we should have um, timing. So we try to implement it in our real game, this one. Okay, so let's just import this into our game and... Yeah, you hear it. Basically, we have two tanks over here. Um, the first tank, the second tank, and the first tank is always goes first. And here is, you see, there are three lives for each tank, and in the middle is the number. Just like we saw the game we saw before. And this one, this bar, is just the timer bar. The timer bar doesn't really work for now. I will explain it in the end. Okay, so we 
just go on into the game. So for the player one, okay. Uh, so for the player one, two, D, Q, W. If you notice a difference, um, in this game with the prototype, the prototype uses only number, and this one uses letters. It's because we are emulating this game in the PC, the the PC modern PC that has different keyboards with the Cosmic Fit keypads. That's why we try to make this game compatible for modern PCs so we are we write this in as the letters, not the numbers. Okay, so let's just continue. We press X, A, R and C. Oh I miss um C damn it. <laughs> okay so uh, in E D four Z yeah it, it fires. Look at this, it's so cute. And R mm, this turn okay we're gonna make him lose so I'm just going to press V V oh it's right V and V Um if you notice I pressed V when the model shows B for the player two but the person still doesn't shoot. The only requirement that tanks can shoot is um having all four numbers I mean letters um answered correctly. For example if I answer wrong this time for example D E Okay, I'm going, I'm going to answer this too. Okay, I'm going to answer with V and with V, so it doesn't shoot. And if they got it right, for example, like this, X, C, A, 4, it shoots. Okay, let's just end this game for now. Uh, 2, Z, uh, D, and 3. And we got it, they have no lives anymore. And <laughs> you see this little thing is dancing enjoy in his victory and this thing just died and here's the score the score is um, actually accumulated between player one and player two so this score um, is a total from the player one score and player two score but the only one who gets it is the only one who wins it so this score is only for this case player one because player one is still alive and player two is already dead and if you want to see the animation for the second uh, what uh, the second player, uh, let's just repeat this. Oh yeah, I I forgot to tell you something. And this title, uh, my f oh my god. Okay, let me tell the story here because the buzzer is so loud. Okay, so the background story of the um, title screen is made by the Gus Tev team. It was actually to be a tank with three I don't know three nozzles, but it looks like a Dalek. You see it. <laughs> Okay, let's just make player one lose and player two lose it wins. I mean, okay, C C two X. Okay, this time the player two wins and see what happens. The player one got destroyed and the player two have the winning the victory animation. I don't really understand why does Gustav. Sub team. I mean, the max sub team make this, but okay. <laughs> okay, so basically that's just the game. Yeah, and you can repeat it as much as you want. You can play it. Okay, so let's talk about timers over here. See, if, if you see, there's a bar over here. It's actually a timer bar, but uh, when we try to implement it into our game, it just cannot work because it doesn't synchronize. It doesn't synchron about uh. For example, when the time bar is only here, the game only already ends, and we don't really know how to fix that bug. That bug is just too hard to fix, and so we just let it like um, this. Is just to sh just to show if the turn is already um, changed. For example, if, if I complete this player one's turn, it shoots, and then the turn change, and this also change. Despite I have arrows, we have arrows to show which thing is in turn. Okay, so it shoots. And the arrow goes here, despite the bars also appear. Okay, so that's basically the game. If you really want to play this, um, I recommend you to use this emulator. The email is made by Jeffrey Masung. You can search it on Google or just go into the description and see it. And if you want this game, please um, 
just visit the link in this description too. Please read it. And it's also free. I put it on GitHub. Um, maybe if you like it, you can. You can, you can. Donate to me. <laughs> and well, that's the game. Thank you everyone for watching. And get